Can I have a star? Sure. Yeah, I'm working. Okay. I'm going to put both things in so I don't hear you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. still probably hear me, but. Can't hear anything you're saying now. Yes, you can. What? <laughs> it's okay. Love you. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the second update for my uh, Partners in Cream project. This project was originally started by Steph Lyons here on YouTube as well as Celine. So we'll have them both linked down below as well as the playlist with everyone else participating in this project. And um, also if you can hear any additional noise in the background, my boyfriend is working over there. So yeah, that's if there's any noise in the background, that's him. But I'm just going to jump straight into the product and show you my progress. So the first product I have is this one right here, which is my Max Factor Miracle Touch Blush in the shade Soft Pink. So this one, um, I didn't have very much left of last time, um, and I'm just going to show you where I am now. So as you can see, this is where I am now. I still do have a little bit of product left. I did push everything into the center of the pan just to make it easier to um, kind of work with, but I haven't unfortunately been able to use this up. I think with everything going on right now, I haven't been able to wear much makeup and I've been at home for most of March. Um, and because of that, I only reach for this blush maybe two or three times a week at a maximum compared to using it every single day, which I have been uh, previously. So that is basically the main reason why I haven't been able to use this up yet, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. And I think you're gonna see that as a theme, not just in this update, but in most of my updates moving forward in the next week or so, because I haven't been able to kind of get much, because I haven't been able to get much use out of most of my products. But um, anyway, I'm still very happy with where I'm with this product, and I think that. I am going to try to wear makeup more in the month of April, um, even if we are staying at home. I think that would be a good kind of incentive to do, have. And I think just having a routine in the morning would be really great. So I hopefully will be able to use this up in the next month and that's going to be my goal for this product. Next up we have my Sleek palette uh, and this is their highlighting palette in the shade Solstice. I am of course working on the cream product in here um, and again I'm going to insert the picture of where I was last time. With this product, again, I was trying to use it up. Um, I wasn't as close as I was on the blush, but similarly, I haven't been able to use this up yet. So that is where I am now. So I have been able to use it a bit more and I cleared up a lot of this area right here. But as you can see, I do still have a bit of product left. I think, again, with picking up my makeup usage for April, I will hopefully be able to finish this up and have another product rolled out of this project. Um, I do still really enjoy it. I am wearing... I am planning a few other highlighters though, so I've been starting to wear this kind of underneath my foundation. And you can see that I have quite a bit of a glow today, and that's mainly because of this product, because I do put this on underneath my foundation, and then I do top kind of this part of my cheek with a powder highlight as well. But this right here, and for my nose and stuff, that's mainly this product. So it is really, really good, and I do really enjoy it. I am just looking forward to have it out of this project. So moving on to eye products, we have my eyeshadow primer from Lumine. This one I have been using every time again when I'm doing eyeshadow, but since I haven't been using makeup much, I don't have very much progress, but I'm going to show you the line that I have now. So as you can see, they are really, really close together, so hopefully you will see both of them, but I have a tiny bit of progress, but not much at all. I was debating not to mark this at all, but I just thought that there was a little bit of progress and I wanted to reflect that in the lines as well. So not much done to this product, but I'm going to continue using it every single day when I do make, do my eyeshadow, um, like today. And um, yeah, I do really enjoy it. I think it makes my eyeshadow last a bit longer, which is really good. So I don't really mind the saying in the project either. Uh, and yeah, it's just an easy product for me to use every single day. So for the Super Shock shadow that is currently in the project, we have my Revolution shade. This one is a bit of a more kind of purpley shade and it looks like this. Um, I am going to have the picture up uh, where it was last time compared to now, but um, as you can see, I don't have pan yet. Um, and as always with these shades, my goal is always to wear them down evenly, so I don't want, just want to dig a hole, but I do want to kind of wear them down um, so that I get enough progress out of them before I roll them out. Um, I haven't been using this too much, but it's a stunning shade and I will kind of try to reach for this more in an upcoming month. Um, 
And the shades in my Pamela's eyeshadows that I have currently are quite easy. I do have one kind of brighter shade, which is actually the green that I'm wearing on my lips today. I did tone it down with another shade though, so it's not as vibrant as it is otherwise. But other than that, most of the shades that I have is something that I can pair with basically any other eyeshadow. So this would be a good kind of lid shade to mix it up with. And although it is a purple, I feel like it's still kind of neutral enough to use on an everyday basis. Although, while in quarantine, why not rock the green eyes? With everything that's going on and with the other eyeshadows that I'm working on currently, I'm not expecting to have pan on this in next update, but hopefully in two months time I will be able to roll this out. And then lastly, we have my two lip products. Uh, we're going to start with the liquid lipsticks that I have in. This one is from Colourpop and it's in the shade Solo. So I am wearing this today on my lips and I have been wearing this kind of um, most of the days when I've been wearing makeup. Um, I haven't been reaching for lip products that much. I feel like when I did do my makeup, lip products was the last thing that I reached for. Um, so my kind of progress on these won't be that significant. But I have reached for this probably at least like five seven times in the last month which is still pretty good considering uh, and again we are at a similar kind of situation as last time that when I do spoil this around it does create some windows but I'm nowhere near having to take out the stopper yet and I'm just going to continue working on it and um, I have been feeling though that it is quite drying and I've been quite tired of wearing this but I am determined to use this up and as long as the formula doesn't go bad, I'm going to keep this in the project. But for now, this is going to be a more slow going product uh, and I hope to at least have it done by the end of this year. And the sixth and final product that I have in is my Chanel lipstick. This one is in the shade La Faciante um, and it's one of their Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks. So similar to the other product, I haven't reached for this that much. Um, I still don't have that very much left of it as you can see. But I don't think this has moved very much since the last update. But I am going to show you on the paper where it is currently because I did actually manage to make a new line. But again, it's not that significant. So as you can see right there, again, they are very, very close. But I did manage to make a little bit of progress, but not much. With the current situation, I do not think that I will be able to use this up in the next month. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to use it up in the next two months or so. Um, I think my goal last time was to use this up in two months' time or even one month. But yeah, just with everything going on, I'm not going to reach for a red lipstick um, on an everyday basis or even close to that. So we'll see. Um, I think if I do use it up in two months' time, I'm going to be very pleased with that outcome. But I guess was all for this update. Um, I don't have, again, too much progress, but I'm really gonna try to step up my makeup wearing uh, habits in the month of April, even though this quarantine may last for a bit longer. But yeah, I think that's basically it. So if you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out everyone else who's doing this project as well. Um, again, I will have the playlist linked down below. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.